Did you guys watch the stream tonight? For your sake, I hope that you did. Did you guys watch the stream tonight? Ooh, ah, ah. I know I did. Watch the stream tonight. Hey, everybody. What's going on, Adam? Probably been waiting here for a long time, Adam. Sorry, it looked like you had commented quite a while ago. Hey, Carol. Hey, Hubbub. Hey, Wraith. Hey, Brianna. Hey, Izzy. Hey, Silver Mist. What's going on, Chris? Creative Kitty. How are you, my comrade? Hey, Natalie. Screams and uh, supposed to be doing homework instead of watching this. God, I hate hearing that. Oh, boy, that makes me anxious. Uh, hey, Silver Sky Dragon. Good evening, Christina. Kaz Kazara, hi, Ella, hi, Don, hey, oh, Natalie, I already said hi to you, Izzy, I said hi, Izzy, go to bed, Eric, Stevens, hi there, guys, so, tonight, today, here's what's going on, we got a bunch of packages to open, uh, I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet and open the Selena one, um, I think I'm just gonna do it. Because it's got to happen. Emily, bonjour. Uh, hi there. Get well soon. Yeah, everybody who's sick, it's good that you're not in the room with anyone watching this. It's better that you're over there. At least you're not doing something that's contagious style. Uh, hey, Emmy. Emmy Labard. I got this guy in the mail just today. I don't even know what this is because it, like it, it feels like there's like a piece of paper in there. So I don't even know what could be in there. Then, I believe Karen sent me this, like, last week. And I was like, Karen, do you want me to open it? I think it was like Wednesday of last week. I was like, do you want me to open it today or on Monday? And she said Monday, so here we are, opening it today. And then, like, the day after that, I got this guy. So that's four things to open all together. This one came from the wish list. Uh, this one came from Amazon. But it's not labeled as it would be if it came from the wish list. So that might be just a gift from, I don't know, somebody in my family or something. Who knows? So if anybody wants to lay claim to any of those and say, hey, don't open them today or wait until Christmas or whatever. If you think you sent it, just let me know and I'll wait to open it. But until that point, I'm going to plan on opening each one of them. Um... Let's see, I said hi to Emmy. I got accepted to my dream university this week. Uh, $80,000 scholarship. That's great, kitty kitty. Just, let's... <sighs> that was 80000 right? All right, that was one for every dollar that you earned through your scholarship. Hey, Kazari, it's dope to be here. Glad to hear I got my... Depression after my birthday on the 11th. Brianna, don't be depressed after your birthday. You had a birthday. It's good news. Um, I'm going to be working on a drawing of Krillin, which is a mythical creature while watching this. Oh, okay. That's not Krillin from Dragon Ball, though. Silver Sky Dragon. Uh, oh, Kazara. You're so nice. Um, Ella, I'm doing all right. You know, uh, I've been... I helped a friend move over the weekend, and... I got a bunch of his stuff that I now have to like list on Craigslist and you know my house is just filling with stuff and I need to like empty it out a little bit for every new thing I take in I have to push something else out but uh, you know we're working with what we got I got a lot of power strips I like those things and I'll take as many of them as I can get I got a little countertop dishwasher and a little air conditioner and I gotta sell all that stuff so if anyone in Los Angeles wants a has a couple hundred dollars and they want to buy a countertop dishwasher and an air conditioner you're in luck because i'm your man um let's see uh silver mist hi uh i'm just getting over what a virus i had oh man i'm glad you're on the upswing at least cleat monger hello i want to say congratulations to chris i just saw a message from him on instagram showing that he had met one of his like all-time favorite cosplayers uh at a florida convention i think so Congratulations, Chris. I'm super happy for you. Um, na 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 na. Okay. Depression sucks. It's true. Cleat monger. What is cleat monger? <laughs> cleat monger. Uh, have a girlfriend. How's it going? I just bought my girlfriend 
a used TV today. <laughs> uh, 10 minute power hour and these streams make my Mondays bearable. I don't even know what 10 minute power hour is. Had an awesome weekend with my friend Alex on attending uh, Comic-Con Holiday Matsuri. Hallmat, that's what it means for the first time in Orlando and I just love the Christmas theme of this one particular con. That is pretty cool. Draco! Draco's here and queer. I just listened to this uh, week's episode of um, This American Life and it's all about being queer and queer rights and medically diagnosing people correctly, which is to say not diagnosing them. Anyways, listen to this week's This American Life if you want to get a little insight into into how much improvement has been made. Uh, blue vagina thing, that's fine. My nickname is Cleet. I really like Killmonger. That's why it's Cleetmonger. That's fine. Okay. Uh, finally made a Twitter account, so now I can follow you there and maybe actually get notifications for streams in time since Facebook likes to tell me an hour after the stream ends. Well, thank you, Wraith. I mean, even if it's just to follow me, Twitter's a pretty low-maintenance sort of social media platform. I kind of have gravitated towards it lately because I can just read through a ton of shit in a couple minutes rather than the hours it would take on Facebook. Um, uh, I find, okay. Yeah, I just invited my friend who loves Loki a lot. Well, welcome, friend who loves Loki a lot. Emily Barry's friend. Clap so well, by the way. Thanks, Chris. Uh, hey, Asgardian family. Hey, Anne Michelle. Um, and your French accent was awesome. Oh, um, merci. Uh, every time I try to meet my favorite cosplayers or my friends who are cosplayers, it never works out. Well, Screams and Marvel, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that. Sometimes cosplayers are hard to get a hold of, myself included in that group. Have you been using your blue vagina thing? Uh, I, I have it in my car for when the next time I have, like, an outing. So I'm going to, you know, be sure to use it in my next adventure to the great outdoors. I'm Ghost, by the way, and my nickname's Clea. Okay, well, yeah. Uh, hey, man and Brit. Speaking of hell, my poem Lux is being packaged for you along... Speaking of hell? That's not a great opener for the poem you want to send to me, <laughs> Izzy. Along with other things for the package, my niece Leslie is doing it uh, in the other room. Well, that's nice. Oh, man, Izzy, you got a lot of stuff going on at your house with the pets and the family members and writing poems and stuff. Goodbye, because I have a flu. Super strong. Must be... Uh, well, a happy Christmas... Bye, Cottonmouth. I miss you. Um, hate being sick. It's awful. Yeah. It's 1.05 a.m. early morning. I saw you streaming, so I decided to join. Well, thanks, Emmy. I'm glad you could be here. Saw Infinity War. Didn't cry. Well, you're probably one of the only people, Kazara. A lot of people. It's cold and flu season, Silver Mist. Um, by the way, for those who are wondering, cosplayer in question is none other than the famous international cosplayer all the way from Italy, Leon Chiro. Yeah, he seemed like a cool guy. He had a lot of a lot of stuff to post. And Chris was the number one post on his timeline that day, which is funny. Monsieur. Monsieur? Is that how that's pronounced? Uh, yeah, I should be in bed too, being alone. I'm going to be using Twitter mostly for shit posting. Nothing I say that will make sense. Well, great. Who's ready for Christmas? Kind of. Oh, man, I missed this one. Uh, talking to your mail lady. I missed some of this, was talking to our mail lady. Oh, hubbub. That's good that you're talking to your mail carrier. Your French is good. Where did you learn French? I did not learn French. I know no French. I just know how to do a French accent from movies that have French characters in them. So I like to say, Watson, and that's about it. Uh, that's about the only French I, I know how to say. I'm a really, really simple hello and stuff like that. Since we're talking about Infinity War, when I fainted at the end of the movie, it was so emotional, what did you guys think? I loved Infinity War. I was puppy sitting for three days and got paid $50. Perfect. Oui, oui, mon ami. Yeah, that's like, that's like Creole. Is how I, um, oui, oui, mon ami. That's how, that's how I'm tempted to say it, because that's how it would be said in, in a movie, I feel like. Robert Thirsk, I do not know who that is. Uh, Loki was the worst, I cried so much. Oh. So guys, uh, second time I watched Infinity War, I laughed. Ooh, Screams of Marvel, getting kind of... So I'm going to open... Shit. I don't want to open this one. <sighs> I 
Emily, I don't know how to. Va te faire une couleur en Michel K. I don't, I don't know how to say that. Since we're taking about, uh, talking about accents, can you do a Loki impression? I don't like doing Loki impression. I'll tell you why, because it never comes out right. It never comes out right. And it's the, as far as I can tell, the best Loki impression that can be done is just by speaking very softly. Just by speaking very softly. And depending on what mood he's in, you just go even softer. So that's like, you know, you can go low, but you can't do a Loki impression to a large group of people because the louder you get, it, the worse it gets. Um, you definitely need to attend Holiday Matsuri sometime in your life. Uh, you'll love their uh, games from Super Smash Brothers. Hopefully, yeah, well, maybe, you know, if I end up out there during that time of year, maybe I will go, Chris. Um, okay, so, guys, before I get asked to do more embarrassing impressions... I'm just going to, I'm going to open this. You know what? Screw it. I'll just do another thing with Thor TV because I was planning on doing a stream where Thor TV and I both opened up our package from Selena, but I'd rather just open it today. Um, and, you know, we're fine. Taking French, being a freshman French has its perks. Uh, did anyone see into the Spider-Verse packages? What packages? I'm waiting for one tomorrow. Excited. Congratulations, hubbub. Loki, I got a Loki figure. Well, great, Ibito. So I'm going to open this thing from Selena, and I already know what it is, kind of, because I accidentally put something on it, and it started doing a thing. So we're going to do this. It's a card, and it's got dogs on it, and I like that a whole lot. And then it says, press here. to sing songs so remove protective wrap before placing an envelope padded envelope recommended for mailing well neither one of those instructions were followed but screw it from Selena time to unleash the fun which I think is a great way to if you're gonna celebrate the holidays this is the way to do it you get yourself a bunch of dogs you teach them how to sing a Christmas carol and you just get them to sing it as many times as you can. Oh man, it's not going to annoy Amada. She's going to push the button as much as I did. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Uh, Chris, I fully plan on seeing Into the Spider-Verse. I'm hearing nothing but good things, and I will be seeing it whenever I can. Um, if you're going to celebrate the holidays, do crack cocaine. Hell of a drug. Hell of a drug, guys. So, thank you so much, Selena, for that. Um... Faces up here, curb stomp. Jesus, kitty, kitty. Uh, I just wanted to wish you the happy holidays, happy New Year's. Well, thanks, Crystal. Appreciate that. That's really nice for you to stop by and say. And happy holidays and Christmas and New Year's to you, too. What does PG think of the singing dog card? Well, she doesn't think much because she hasn't woken up. Yeah, see? That's about the most reaction you're going to get out of her right now. So, that's what PGC thinks. So next we're going to open up this guy. It came in yesterday. I'm not sure. You can't really see. If you shine a light through it, no, then you can see that there's something in there. i got to see what this is. This is bothering me out. So we're going to open this bad boy up. Let's see what we got. Oh! I'm not going to open that because you know what? It's not 
for me. It's for Amada. That's a Christmas gift for Amada. So don't worry about it, guys. Jeez. Ugh. Get off my case. Ah. Sleepy kitty, love kitty. I just did some crack cocaine in my school winter formal. I did some crack cocaine, just kidding, but I sure was acting like I did. Screams and don't joke about doing crack cocaine. That'll end up getting in you more trouble than it's worth. My shop is empty, which means it's time to start my Thor Ragnarok cosplay. I'm stoked. Your shop is empty? What does that mean? Having a cold sucks. Agreed. Hey, Karen. Oh, Karen. Perfect. I'm glad you're here. Because I'm just about to open your thing. Because listen, this came in. I think it was what? Last Wednesday? Last Thursday? Who knows? So I'm going to open Karen's package. Karen, did you ever get a shipping confirmation for the other thing? Because I got two packages in pretty close proximity to one another, and I didn't know if the other one was the other one you said was going to come in. So I'm going to open this guy up. Um, Carol, did I say hi to Carol? What's the coolest thing you've gotten through Loki Hates You? Um, oh man. I mean, honestly, lately, uh, the Ragnarok costume that was, uh, s sponsored by, um, uh, Marcy, Marcy and Mark was super great. So that was really nice. Uh, other than that, I mean, honestly, you guys don't realize how much of this stuff, I mean, it's been years since we started doing this, and I use... The stuff that you guys have sent... I mean, the webcam I'm using right now is something that was sent to me. Um, the microphone that you're hearing me through. Like, the t video game controller I was just playing with before I talked to you guys. The spatula I just used to make cheeseburgers. Like, every, every, my, all, most of the stuff in my apartment at this point is stuff that you guys have sent me. So, like, you, you know, you've kind of supported me, like, my entire life. Hell, the bedspread on my bed back there, that's from you guys. The uh, cat bed that uh, a pretty good cat sleeps on, that's from, that's from Amada, that's from you guys. Like, so, yeah, like, it's, I can't even prioritize it because there's just so much stuff that I use so often. That it's like, my life would be significantly worse without all of your intervention. Um, Izzy Disney, have you tried eating horseradish? Oof, clears the sinuses. I mean, a spicy will clear the sinuses. Okay, I did say hello to Carol, good. Uh, well, I might as well go. I'm using my parents' hotspot because we don't have internet at the moment. And it keeps buffering, so we're getting turned on tomorrow, so... Uh, bye, Cleet. We'll see you next week, probably, hopefully. There's another package for Amada coming tomorrow, I think. Perfect. Thank you so much for doing your live streams. It makes me happy. We are patrons of the arts. Ooh. I like, ooh, ooh. I think that's the ooh, ooh faces. Yeah. Mm. Um, and another package for you has an ETA of January 4th. Keep you posted. Perfect. Uh, probably a bad question, but what's the worst thing you've ever gotten? Um... And, you know, there was nothing... No one sent me anything bad or, like, mean or anything. But there was one package that I think, uh... Uh... Lynette sent me. And it had a whole bunch of stuff. Had a whole ton of stuff. And it was all great stuff. But there was some candy in there. And one of them was, like, this coconut-based Neapolitan-looking candy. It looked like, um astronaut ice cream it was like a pink and a brown and a white like bars stuck together and man i t as soon as i took it out it had this coconut flavoring scent to it and it was so strong that i just like i was i couldn't it was like having like potpourri like right under your nose and that, I think, was one of the more memorable, like, ooh, man, this is not ideal. But, as I said, it was part of a larger package full of awesome things, and it was just a candy that I don't think I could ever actually put in my mouth because just the smell of it was crazy. It wasn't bad. It was just strong, really strong. The kind of vanilla coconut, like, but the strongest vanilla coconut you could get. And I'd say if, if you're going to ask about the worst things I've gotten. That little thing 
be, being a strong smell is the worst of everything. Like, it's like, oh, no, it smells a little strong. But, um, yeah, that's that's the best answer I can give you. Uh, it's probably back... Uh, how did PGC get her name? Well, I called her Nugget for a little while. Her name was Nugget. Because she's just little. She's little and I like her a lot. So I called her Nugget. But she never responded to it. And then there were just days where she would come and, like, hang out. And I'd be like, you know what? You're a pretty good cat. And then I just started calling her pretty good cat because she's pretty good. Uh, been giving me honey, radishes, remedies, my nightmare. Um, hey, Vinyl Scratch. Good to see you. Hey, Cowbios? Cowbios, Marion? Welcome. Hello. You will be getting a package for me this week for you to open on Christmas. Okay. Noted, Izzy. I won't open anything from you until Christmas. Uh, for product design, allowed to do clothing from a movie and recreate it. I chose to recreate Loki as my great project. We'll have to go through every detail about the character and create it. Well, Emily, that's an extremely ambitious um, product design. Clothing from a movie and recreate it. So it's clothing product design? It's not fashion design? Weird. So today's stream involves Hall Mat, Hell, Gaming Room, Singing Dogs, Xmas Cards, Crack Cocaine. Getting off to a great start. Hope this damn cold goes away before Christmas. Planning on making cupcakes. Are you going to stream next week or are you taking Christmas Eve off? I'll stream next week. I don't see any reason not to. Hi, Bella Bob. Uh, what is Loki's favorite part of Christmas or does Loki like Christmas? Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not a, as big a fan of Christmas as I used to be. I used to be really into it, and I loved going out shopping and doing all the stuff. Uh, but now, I don't know. Like, it's fun. It's fun to see people if you can, and it's fun to go out and do stuff. But really, like, the, the songs, I hate hearing the songs in the stores. Oh, such repetitive, oh, crazy songs. Oh, God, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, nugget. Oh, my little nugget. Hey, Christina Robles. Hi, Christina. How are you? Well, I'm going to go now because I have to do stuff. Bye-bye. Bye, Scream and Marvel. My dumb computer has a buffer now. Why? It's fine, Christina. You're still here. Merry early Christmas. If I don't make a stream next week, well, Merry Christmas to you, too, Scream and Marvel. Um, you're not late. You're late, Bucky. You're a little late. You're a little late. What's your favorite movie? I would say, uh, as of right now, probably just The Avengers is my favorite movie. Mexico for Christmas. Hopefully I'll get internet. Just in case I don't get internet, please open the package. So, you're not a fan of Christmas carols either. I am not a fan of Christmas carols. Uh, living nightmares. Christmas shopping, it's true. You made me yawn. I'm sorry to make you yawn. Bucky Barnes, Bucky Buckaroo. Uh, oh, okay. Um, the way we do it involves a mixture of fashion, textile, CAD, CAD. Weird. That's a intense design class. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Oof. Scrooged? Let's say Scrooged. What's your favorite color? Black, gray, maybe red if you want to get technical about what color is instead of tints and shades. What drew you to start streaming over video? You know, I probably would not have started streaming if it wasn't for Thor TV. He kind of pushed us into it. Um, however, uh, it was kind of people sending us packages that made us start streaming so the first two people who sent packages sort of inspired us to get the streaming thing happening all right so guys i'm gonna open karen's package i know she's been sitting here watching me talk and try to keep up with all the all the different things you guys are saying which are oftentimes not necessarily related to anything Ooh, what is this Oh, man. Oh, that's crazy. So Karen has sent me something off the wish list, which is this incredible router, uh, which means that I'll now be able to actually connect my, my Nintendo Switch to my wireless network uh, and not worry about the fact that my current router is incredibly old. So, 
Thank you so much, Karen. Like, this is great. And this maybe will help me to stream more mobilely if I can get my phone connected to it and do, like, Instagram streams more. Uh, this might get me a better signal, and that means more quality for you, the viewer. Um, you got a knife? Everybody run! Yeah, cowboys, I know how to use a knife. I'm thinking about doing a Gwen Stacy cosplay sometime next year. Really want to get back into crafting. Well, Hubble Bubble Pop, nothing can stop you now. I'd, hey, hey, son, how's it going, Cole? So, oh, this is, yeah, I mean, my, my router, my current router is, like, it's at least 10, maybe 15 years old. And it's, like, a, it's, I don't remember what type of wireless it is, but it's a type that doesn't even interact with new devices well. Um... I know how you feel hearing Jingle Bells over and over again. Town Mall can really be hair splitting, excruciating to the psyche. It, it is. I worked in a department store for a long time as a teenager. And good God, those goddamn Christmas carols really take it out of you. Um, so you like doing your live... So you like doing your live streams? I hope I do because I keep doing them. I mean, it, like... It's, there's some days where they're better than others, but, yeah, I mean, I think I, I enjoy them every time I do them. So, yeah. I work retail, so I hate Christmas music with a passion. Can't hear all I want for Christmas or whatever it's called on so many... Yeah. We... So, on top of Christmas music, we also had a lot of stuff that was, like, motion-activated Christmas stuff. And there would be a certain aisle in the department store that I worked in where if you walk down the aisle... Like, every motion-activated Santa would come on and be like, Ho, 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 I'm gonna sing you a song. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes... And it would just be like, yeah, Shut the fuck up! Like, yeah! Shut up, Santa! And I just wanted to kill... And then, like, even before that, it was Halloween stuff. So you'd walk down the Halloween aisle, and it'd be like a million little ghosts that were like, Ooh! And everything was just making all this noise. God damn it, I hated it. Um, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. I am. I am a mean one. All right, guys, we've got one more thing to open up, and I'm going to open it up. Oh, man, I can't wait to try out that router. Who boy, I tell you what, I'm going to try that thing out so good. Uh, we're going to restaurant. My only safe spot from Christmas music is the bar get old really fast i don't know, forgot about rude customers oh yeah well sure rude customers are just part of retail that you know you don't even have to mention it it's terrible store just smells probably because he sucks and his hair is short as fuck so just bring back low key i mean i guess that's an interesting little christmas carol i always say christmas doesn't exist until after my birthday which is the middle of november well there you go i guess if everybody else wants to you know, get in on that. That's fine. Make that a tradition. Christmas doesn't start until somewhere in the middle of November. Um, got me a t-shirt with a Korg quote and a Mjolnir necklace. Oh, that's nice. Alright, so I'm gonna open this bad boy up. Um, what do you guys, what's the big Christmas item this year that you guys are hoping to get in your stocking? Um, like, it, what's the Tickle Me Elmo... What are the kids asking for, you know? Is it a Nerf gun? Is it a, a Hot Wheels racetrack? Is it a Lego set? Okay, this is for Amada. Karen, I think I got one of the Amada gifts. So I'm not going to show it. Because I think this is... Yeah. That's definitely for Amada. And you guys don't get to see it, I'm sorry, because if you see it, then Amada's going to see it. And then everyone's going to be mad at me. So, score today is one of these. We got one of those. We got a kick-ass new Netgear 
router that was, came highly recommended from producer Rob from NerdBot. And then we got a couple of gifts for Amada, which we can't show on the stream because I gotta give them to Amada, okay? But I'm gonna wrap that up real nice for you, Karen. Uh, you sent, I think, two, you said one of them was on its way and I didn't realize it was coming here instead of Amada's apartment, so. Uh, I don't know, we got it wrapped up. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I don't celebrate Christmas, but I need a new Polaroid camera since I broke... Ooh, Polaroid. That's fancy. Don't really ask for much. Mostly I want the black and chrome edition of Mad Max Fury Road. Okay. It's a pretty simple request to fulfill. Um, I'm getting the Nintendo Switch. Part Christmas gift, part uh, getting license gift. Well, congratulations. I hope you have as much fun with your Switch as I am with mine. Get Smash Brothers. We'll play. I would want candy and Nintendo Switch in my stocking. Not a bad deal. What kind of candy you like, Manon? Uh, I would love some crafting clay for Christmas. Like plastiline? Like actual just something you can bake or something you can just mold over and over again. Uh, we've also memorized Get Help together. I really need one of those cards. Get out there and find one. The other package for Amada arrived today. Uh, there, that one, the one I just opened, I think was from you, Karen, uh, and it arrived f last Thursday or Friday. It arrived last week at some point. So, uh, Emily is asking for Tom Hiddleston under your tree. Well, maybe a framed photo or something. That might happen. Hoping to get my mythology and dragon book. That'd be cool. All right, I like books. Anyone have any other cold remedy, Bill? Do you have any recommend? I just take day quill during the day and night quill during the night. That's the best I can do to soothe the symptoms. Uh, take a couple hundred uh, milligrams of vitamin C. That's supposed to help, but other than that, you can't do anything but really wait it out. Drink plenty of fluids and sleep a lot. Um, I want a Newfoundland. Ooh, that'd be cool, getting a dog. I mean, go out and adopt a dog then. That'd be cool. I didn't have time to check the tracking today. It's fine, Karen. You got it. It's fine. Uh, may memorize the whole of Thor Ragnarok. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, what's your favorite candy? Um, my favorite candy is probably Australian licorice. That soft eaten licorice. Just want Lucifer Season 4 to come out on Netflix. That'd be cool. Alright. And that's a pretty easy wish to fulfill. Hopefully they come through for you. Books, sweater, chocolate. That's all I want for Christmas. Makes me happy. Crystal, really easy to please. But really want is a couple million dollars so I can move on. Move the Republic of Ireland uh, to this property where I found it's just gorgeous. You want to move to the Republic of Ireland to a property you found. Well, Wraith, a couple million dollars I think we can all say would be a great Christmas gift. So, get cracking. Large furry drooly pup. Oh, man, I want to... Be... <sighs> yeah, that, that... I feel like the puppy coincides with a couple million dollars. Because you need a couple million dollars to live the lifestyle that would accommodate having a puppy around in a home that's appropriate for a big dog. Might be getting a bigger 3D printer for Christmas, so that's better cosplay stuff. Yeah, Kazara. Uh, actually, the daggers that you may or may not have seen uh, uh, that I carried with my Ragnarok Loki were 3D printed, so uh, I'm a fan. Uh, polymer clay or air dry clay. That's cool, like Sculpey or something. You should get some Sculpey! I might be getting a bigger... Okay, so what's your favorite Christmas special to watch back in the day? Christmas special. Let me think about that. Christmas special. I don't know. Maybe... Christmas... Uh, it'd probably be like The Grinch Stole Christmas or something. I'd probably watch that one. I, I would never got into the Charlie Brown stuff. It was always too, like, somber. But I liked The Grinch. The Grinch I, I watched a couple times. That was, that was cool. Christmas specials, though. Can't think of a TV series in which the Christmas episode really got to me. Um... Marvel stuff as well. That'd be nice. Everyone loves Marvel stuff. I'm personally full up on Marvel stuff, but, you know, 
soon as a Peanuts movie. Ugh. I want Loki for Christmas, the real Loki. Well, good luck, Ibito. Uh, is it possible to send you Kinder surprise candy, or will it get stopped at the border? Brianna, I think as long as you don't go out of your way to say, like, hey, there's uh, candy that doesn't belong in America in this box, you could just ship it in a small box and it'll get here. Uh, licorice is good. I don't get why people hate that candy so much. I hate black licorice, so I get that. Get some crack cocaine for Christmas. Maybe I will. Who knows? Uh, we have a Newfoundland. My sisters look more like one than she does, but that's because they're bigger. Yeah, new, new fees are real big and funny looking, and I like those guys. Sorry for bringing up crack cocaine so many times and having a weird day. Well, kitty kitty, sometimes you just gotta get the crack out. Uh, this is the first stream in which I'm sick. I guess that's true. Do you like Christmas movie It's a Wonderful Life? I don't think I've ever watched It's a Wonderful Life from beginning to end. Don Rush, I hope you get a Switch, and I hope when you get a Switch, you send me your friend code, and then we'll be friends, and I'll... I haven't had a lot of time to play online, but, you know. How dare you not like the peanuts? I don't know, they just seem really slow. The Christmas one, the Halloween one, they're just like, they got really sad music playing all the time. Uh, Snoopy's my favorite. Have you ever seen the new Grinch movie? I saw the Jim Carrey one. I didn't see the new, I don't know, other one, the CG one. Is that Benedict Cumberbatch in that one? I haven't seen that one. Um, peanut, peanuts are awesome. So yeah, like, I, I don't know. I don't go out of my way to watch Christmas movies. I think the last quote-unquote Christmas movie I watched was Die Hard. Let's get into that discussion. Whether Die Hard's a goddamn Christmas movie. It takes place during Christmas. But I think also, so does Lethal Weapon. Uh, mine was the old school Sesame Street Christmas special. It first aired in the late 70s. And I was played over and over again on PBS. I'm sure I used to watch that as well. I just don't remember it. New Grinch movie looks like it was just remade to advertise things. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't like some of the advertising for the new Grinch movie. One of one of the billboards they had up in Los Angeles was um, "Stop moving to Los Angeles, we're full," uh, and it's like this weird, like exclusionary. I'm a grumpy guy, so it's okay for me to say this, but I think like hidden inside that advertising is sort of a message of like, "Hey, other states don't send people." to California because we are overcrowded but then there's also another like hey people from other countries don't send people here because we don't like them and I don't like that sort of sentiment uh, it's not you know I don't think it's appropriate for a children's movies advertising campaign uh, retainer feels like I'm being kicked in the mouth yeah kitty kitty that um, teeth adjustment it's a very painful process. Um, Bobo B. Dumbledore. Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, I'd see. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I don't like the peanuts. Doesn't catch my attention. Agreed. Uh, Die Hard is such a good movie. I remember a movie. I liked it. Animated main character with a little white dog. What about Home Alone, bro? That's a real Christmas movie. Sure. I liked Home Alone. I think, from what I can remember. Favorite is The Polar Express. That was a good movie. You know what I liked was uh, Guardians. Um, if I, don't, I forget if it's it's just called The Guardians, Legend of the Guardians, I think, and it's got Santa and the Easter Bunny and all that stuff. That was a good movie. I was never a huge fan of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, though. That one's another one that just never spoke to me. Moving on. Um see Hans Gruber fall from the Nakatomi Tower. I have a friend who came to visit LA and one of the only sightseeing things we did was go and visit Nakatomi Tower. He's a diehard guy. Um, animated main character was a little white dog. What is the little white dog movie about Christmas? It's probably a weird Disney movie. Who knows? Elf? Elf was funny. Christmas Vacation? I don't remember that one too well but I think that was also funny. Die Hard is definitely a Christmas special for fans. Hey, Candace. Um, I was wondering, do you like Harry Potter? If yes, which house do you belong to? I do like Harry Potter. I took the time to listen to all the audiobooks like a year and a half ago. And they're so good. They're just such good books. And 
I consider myself a Hufflepuff. I've never tested into Hufflepuff, but I really like Hufflepuff. Um, Die Hard is definitely okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Rise of the Guardians. Yeah, that's the one. What are we talking about? Christmas movies? We are talking about Christmas movies. Good for a little laugh. Yeah, I think I think a lot of the, the Christmas movies are good for, like Izzy said, a little laugh. Who remembers Bill Murray in the movie Scrooged? I just said Scrooged was my favorite Christmas movie. I said that 20 minutes ago. Uh, I love the Garfield Christmas special. I don't remember that one. Have you read the Hunger Games series? I have also listened to that um, on audiobook. I gotta say, uh, the movies were just as good as the book for me. Um... There were some different parts, but I think the movies really got the point across. Uh, and the books didn't do that much of a better job for the Hunger Games. And that might be a hot take for big Hunger Game heads, but... Yeah, I don't know. After watching the movies, the, the books seemed like, oh, okay, just exactly what I remember from the movies. I don't think it was a Disney movie. I can't remember the name. The White Dog was a girl. Hmm... If anyone can think of a Christmas movie that has a white dog that helps save Santa, or helps Santa, let us know. I love the Scrooge version with Jim Carrey. I don't remember that. Uh, I think the little white dog is Marley. Maybe. Everyone loves Hufflepuff. I'm late. Hi, Loki Muffin. Of the bottom Christmas special. The bottom Christmas special? What is that? Uh, I have to read a Christmas Carol for school, and I'm not, I'm really not into it. Yeah, a lot of that Dickensian, uh, storytelling was pretty dry. Christmas Carol, easier to watch than it is to read, for sure. Um, Christmas Vacation, okay. Hunger Game poster in my room. Hawkeye is now Ronin. I saw that in the trailer. Santa Paws. Santa Paws, that might be it. All of the other reindeer. I found all of the other reindeer. Weird. That's the White Dog movie. Okay, so what Christmas songs do you hate? Like songs that irritate you? I don't know. All of them. All the Bing Crosby stuff. All the, like, you know, the. Frosty the Snowman, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, uh, Jingle Bells. All the stuff that's been done a million times, too. Even, like, the funny stuff. The only one that I ever kind of liked was Little Drummer Boy. And, one, that never gets played. And, two, I don't even really like it that much. So, that's where we stand on Christmas carols. Uh, have you ever seen the movie Elf? I have. He's currently coming out with a movie with John C. Riley called Holmes and Watson. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch that when it comes out on Netflix. Is there any movie genre that you like the most? I think superhero movies are the movies that I like the most. So I guess that would be action if, if you're looking for a genre. Uh, bottom was a UK TV show. Huh, I did not know that. Hey, I made it. Hello, hello, Ace Santa Paws. Have you listened to Ghost yet? Have I listened to Ghost? No, and I doubt I will. Santa Paws is the movie. Okay, what kind of music do you like? I like, um... I, somebody asked this recently. I've been listening to a lot of Soundgarden slash Audio Slave slash Chris Cornell stuff. Uh, and when I'm not in the mood for that, I just turn on uh, some dubstep sort of stuff. Some, like, industrial electronic music. Um, I also love Set It Off This Christmas. I don't know what that is. Was an animated animated and he voiced Scrooge and the three ghosts as well. They even looked like him. I'm trying to think. Was that like a Polar Express looking movie? Cause I think I might remember that. I think. If I get a sandwich yet, I would name it something wintry. That makes sense. I've been listening to the Ragnarok and Infinity War soundtrack. That sounds cool. Holmes and Watson is coming out in theaters. Bruh. Alright, I'll do it tomorrow then. No, I don't think I'm going to go pay money to see it in a theater. I remember when Mad TV made a parody short called Raging Rudolph in the sequel, The Reindeer Father. Never see this classic stop motion. Yeah, um, another thing I recommend, actually, the Christmas music I do like is uh, Psycho Stick's Christmas album was pretty funny. Uh, there's a lot of funny songs, a lot of weird, violent songs, so check that one out if, you're, if you want to find some new Christmas music that's 
inappropriate for your family. Have you seen the superhero movie called Catwoman? I think it's the, that's the name. Catwoman is real bad. I have seen it. Ghost is metal. Come on. You would make an awesome Papa Emeritus. I don't know. Metal is a pretty loose term, and a lot of it I don't even love. I, I, I just I don't take music recommendations well. Anyone going to see the new Dr. Doolittle movie in 2019? I'm certainly not. Favorite Christmas song is basically anything Trans-Siberian Orchestra. No, Trans-Siberian Orchestra, for me, it's too up its own ass. Um, I've been listening to the soundtrack King Arthur Legend of the Sword almost nonstop for a couple of months. I remember when I listened to soundtracks. I gave that up around college time. No more soundtracks. Oh, yeah, I gotta go see Bumblebee, too. I would like to see that. Has anyone seen Spider-Man? I have not seen Spider-Man yet. I plan to, though. You know that Tom Hiddleston plays a character in a Disney movie? He sings in the movie. I don't know which movie that is, but that's great to know. Animated was like the Polar Express. I do think... I think I know what you're talking about, Karen. The Christmas... It it was a Christmas carol, and it had Jim Carrey in it. Do you like Nickelback? Um, let me put it to you this way. If Nickelback ever comes on the radio, it does get stuck in my head. And I get, I get, I don't know, I don't get excited about it, but I definitely feel like, all right, it's not that bad. Like, I'm not one of these people that shits on Nickelback constantly, even though it is a fun pastime to shit on Nickelback. (sighs) Oh, man, keeping up with you guys. Uh, what do you think of the new Krampus, the horn guy? I I mean, I guess as far as Christmas legends go, it seems like horror people have kind of latched onto it a little much. The concept of punishing children being so satisfying for people is uh, not my favorite idea. But, you know, everyone likes a big furry satyr devil that breaks into your house and beats the shit out of your kids, right? So good for you guys. I'm looking for a YouTube channel that's reviewing bad movies and films. I recommend the channel Saber Spark. Thanks for the plug for Saber Spark, Bucky Buckaroo. <laughs> Feel bad for the Mall Santa at Montebello. He had a long line. Yeah. Mall Santa's not that great of a job. What about the movie Krampus? Have not seen it. What about Vitmin String? I don't know what that is. Has anyone heard Heaven Don't Have a Name featuring Jeffrey Ren- Jeremy Renner? I don't know what that is. Hiddleston plays Captain Hook and Tinkerbell in the fairy in the pirate fairy. <laughs> Good to know. What about Rise of the Guardians? It is an Easter movie, but it has a Santa Claus. Yes, uh, I liked Rise of the Guardians. I'm planning to go to take Prince to see Santa when people take their pets. Great. Tom Hiddleston plays a singing pirate in a Pixie Hollow movie. Tinker Bell, okay. It's hard for singing, though. Thank you, Bill. Not a fan of Nickelback either. Wife likes them. You know, it is what it is. Like, Nickelback, I think there's way worse bands in the world. But, like, you know, Nickelback is what it is. <laughs> that was crazy. It was called Lobo, the paramilitary... That's not a movie. That's a comic. It's a fun and gory to watch, but if you hate Christmas. They made Lobo Paramilitary Christmas into a movie? I only remember it being a graphic novel. Huh. If you find a link to that, send it to me. Used to feel that way about TS Orchestra until I saw them live. Gets on my nerves. Mariah Carey, all I want for Christmas. Everyone's been shitting on that all, all year, and I don't know why. It's no worse than any of the other Christmas songs. Huh. Childhood kind of ruined. Have you watched Puka? It was strange. I have not. Uh, what about The Nightmare Before Christmas? I'm not a big fan of Nightmare Before Christmas. What's your favorite genre of music? I don't know, hard rock. I've been meaning to watch Krampus. Every time I hear Nickelback, I think the... What's this graph? I think of the vine. Oh, look at this graph! I've seen that, that vine. I know what you're talking about. Oh, it's a fan movie. Interesting. What's your take on boy bands? I don't love them, Don. You know that I'm not a boy band guy. The other morning I woke up with an sync song stuck in my head, though, and I don't know why that happened. But, it is, you know, it happens. Like when Tom Hiddleston uh, was in Cornelia, he couldn't kiss a man proper. You bet that I could kiss a man better. Well... 
I mean, I guess. Uh, I can't say I'd be that into it. I don't know, guys. That's a weird thing to put in front of me, but, you know, I'm not an actor, so. Uh, Prince might appear to be an angel, but once his vest comes off, he's a little angel with horns. Crazy, crazy. Um. Oh, all right. I'll open that up. Uh, someone made a fan film back in the 90s. Lobo was hired by the Easter Bunny to kill Santa Claus. It's on YouTube somewhere. What do you think of the upcoming video game Death Stranding? I don't know. I haven't ever heard of it. I haven't heard anything about it. Feel that way about the Mariah song if you had a co-worker that had been playing it multiple times a day. Yeah, pretty much anything that's been played by a co-worker multiple times a day, I'm over. Uh, I, I had a college roommate who played P.O.D. I feel so alive for a year straight, like dozens of times a day. That was difficult for me. Uh, so if, if that's happening with Mariah Carey with you, get the hell out of there. Almost midnight here, so I better go to bed. Good night, Carol. Have you seen Seinfeld at all? I've seen a bunch of episodes of Seinfeld. I just don't remember many of them. Is Mario Brothers playing like it was on... Is Mario Brothers anything like it was on 64? You mean the the newest game? Or the new movies? Or the, the movie they made with John Leguizamo? Like, what, what? which Mario are we talking about here? Goodbye, Silver Mist. My dad does this listening constantly thing with Dig Up Our Bones by the Misfits. Yeah. Constant listening to any song is a burden on any, everyone around you. What about Layers of Fears? I don't know what that is. It's so hot here. I'm dying. It's ridiculously hot anywhere else. Logie Muffin, it's actually pretty, pretty chilly here. Not chilly, but I'm wearing a hooded sweatshirt inside my own house. Who's your favorite character to play as in the new Super Smash Brothers? My favorite character will always be Ness. In any iteration of Smash Brothers, guitar teacher is the guitarist. Hmm? I wish I was hot in here. Yeah, I way prefer it to be hot than cold. Have you been to the Stratosphere Tower? I have not. My dog is chilling hearing the stuff you're saying. My dog's name is Cookie Mustard. Cookie Mustard. That's nice. Damn stuff nose, mouth breathing. Sounds like I have a broken squeaky toy in my throat. Oh, like that, uh, like in Snatch. <laughs> okay, package is ready. What do you think of Bayonetta and the Wii Yoga Instructor? I have no problems with any of the characters. I think they're all great and well-balanced and ready to roll. And I hope uh, everybody gets to play the new Smash Brothers and maybe we'll get to play together. Uh, bye, Emily, I think. That's what you're saying. You're going right now? Unless you're going Rhode Island? Who knows where you're going? But we're gonna probably going to wrap it up anyways. So, guys, your questions, as always, have been interesting and crazy and random as ever. And I thank you for stopping in. Uh, if anyone does send anything in the next few days to the P.O. box, let me know. And I will make sure to check the P.O. box. If anyone sends anything from the wish list, let me know that it'll be arriving and I'll keep an eye out for it. And if it gets here on a day that's not a Monday, uh, you can be like, hey, can you do an unboxing on the day it came in? And I'll be happy to do that. And that way, you know, you can get an extra stream out of it or whatever. So, guys, whew. Grapefruits are banana. I guess banana, but only because grapefruits are gross. Have you seen the two-movie trailer of Godzilla? I have not seen the Godzilla trailer. I keep forgetting to look for it. Um, play Smash Brothers on my 3DS. Go to sleep. Go to the workshop. Okay, everybody, have a great night. We will see you next Monday, I guess, which I guess will be Christmas Eve, but we'll see. Until then... Miss you. Right. Love you. Good night. Bye. Look at the
never tell her you away, we're trying. Then I give up.